Hello, how are you? My name is Aisha, and today I would like to speak about community. So I got three questions. Who are supposed to be the leaders slash protectors of a community, no matter what color? Who is to blame when a community fails or falls apart? And why do women, specifically black women, get the blame for all the problems in the black community? So basically, I'm talking about black life right now. I don't care who you're married to. I don't care what kind of situation you got going on because I got my own life to worry about, my own family to worry about. But what I am concerned about is people blaming others for the failures of their community. So since we're talking about the black community, I'm trying to figure out why I get on the internet and black males are blaming black females for the disarray in our community. For me, the leaders and the protectors of the community are supposed to be males. And I don't believe that that's just for me. Okay, because throughout all the other communities, white, um, all the white communities, other Hispanic communities, whatever you like to call them, other communities have protectors and their protectors are males. Strong males in these communities know that when the community is successful, it is because of them. Strong males also know, not the punk ass males, but the strong males know that if my community completely fails or falls apart or shits in chaos, then that is my fault. I do not think that we should be polite with this subject. I think that we should just tell the truth. If we were talking about the white community and the white community was failing, we would blame who? The white males. So since we are talking about the black community, we're going to blame who? The black males. I'm not saying all of you are to blame. I am saying that if you are supposed to be the leader and protector, then when shit falls apart, you should also take that L. So I've been all over the internet. I've watched females versions of whose fault it is. I've watched males versions. Now, I realize that when females talk about the black community and whose fault it is, they tell the truth. They say black men are the, um, the leaders. And so if we fall apart, it is their fault. No matter how harsh they say it, it is true. I'm not saying that all black men are tearing up the community. I'm just saying, um, if you guys are the leaders of the community, then it is your fault when it falls apart. Okay. If you are a leader and a protector, that means you're going to be masculine and you're going to do everything in your power to succeed. Now, when you decide that you don't have to be a leader or you don't, have any hmm you don't need to protect the community i have a problem with you i don't care who you're married to i don't care i don't care anything about your life what i care about is you being a man and accepting that you are supposed to be a leader i don't care if you don't want to be a leader the fact that men are supposed to be on top of the family and you've all decided that you want to be up there should mean that you ensure that the community or that your family can be successful. So with the black community, I have noticed that black men say it is the women's fault. There's a bunch of... Um, ratchet women walking around there's a bunch of wild children there's a bunch of nonsense happening well if you had a man to actually help out with these situations maybe you wouldn't have so much ratchetness and wild children walking around 
at the end of the day, it does take two to tango. Now, if you're going to tango and then there is a woman that gets pregnant and you walk away from your responsibilities because you don't like that woman or woman, you are contributing to her demise. You are helping her to not succeed because you walked away from a relationship. Whether you like her or not, that does not matter. What matters is that real men handle their responsibilities, whether they hate the responsibility or not. So I'll speak about myself and then I'll get out of here. So you don't think that I'm just talking badly about black men, okay? I have two children and I have a husband. My husband has never blamed me for any of our issues. If we've ever had an issue, he does not straight away blame me. He looks at himself. My husband works five days a week. He's supposed to work five days a week. Sometimes he ends up working six days a week. My husband's never asked me to get a job. He's never come to me and said, hey, since I have to get a job, can you get a job? He's a responsible man that believes he's supposed to take care of his family. And by taking care of his family, that means he needs to be protecting us. He needs to have structure for us. And he needs to be a man. I'm not saying that 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 I don't have any responsibility. I'm just saying as a man, he goes to work every day and he makes sure that we or he makes sure that we are protected and that we have the things that we need. Okay? I haven't had to work in almost two years because my husband is the provider and the protector. He's never blamed me for any of the problems that we've had, as I've said before. And so I have a problem with men that blame women for everything. First of all, how do you say that you're a leader and a provider while you're blaming someone else? How do you say that you're the captain of the ship and then when the ship crashes, all of a sudden you were just an innocent bystander? It doesn't make sense and you have to make it make sense. I'm not blaming everybody, every man in the black community, because obviously there are men that are doing what they need to do. But there's a lot of men that aren't doing what they need to do. I know a lot of women that do not have the protection and the help from the man that they made a child with simply because he doesn't want to do right. That's not their fault. When they lay down with this person, they were in a relationship and they thought that this person was going to be the provider and the father that he said he was going to be. That's not their fault that he decided to go off script and do whatever the hell he wanted to do. So I will not accept anyone blaming black women for any of this. I know we all got our issues. Black women got our issues, but we wouldn't have near as many issues if we actually had leaders in our communities. Okay. <laughs> Things would not be in disarray. We would not have such chaos in the black community if we had actual leaders. And I'm talking about men standing up for what's right. Men rejecting other men making baby mamas and not taking care of their children. I'm talking about men showing other men structure if you don't think that they have structure. If you don't think that they can be a man, show them how to be a man. But all of this, I don't know who the leader is. I don't know who the manager is. I don't know who's leading the community has to stop. If you're a man, be a man and lead your community. And if you're a man that's doing it, kudos to you. But I shouldn't have to give you kudos because you should be doing what's right because it makes you feel good and because it's the right thing to do. So I don't know. I don't know about us. But what I can tell you is... We need to do better and we need to find good, strong leaders. So I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.